to in fact rope in Dr. Surendra Pal, who's the uh, associate, who was the associate director and program director at uh, the satellite navigation program at the ISRO Satellite Center. Sir, good morning. Thank you for joining us to NewsX. It was an eight-day mission that was initially planned for both Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore that eventually turned into a nine-month odyssey. Um, but during those nine months, um, they faced a lot of challenges at the ISS, but they still conducted a lot of experiments over there. So for the benefit of our viewers, uh, could you walk us uh, through what exactly was done over there and how exactly they utilized their time? But that's not all. Uh, they were also engaged in exercising because one of the crucial concerns was the loss of the bone density. Yeah, you know, they conducted more than 150 experiments. And um, quite a few of them, more than 60 experiments were done in my microgravity lab, which is there for 25 years old. So, uh, and not only this, some most quite a few biological experiments have been conducted. So, all those experiments, the results will be quite useful to the humankind. And you suppose in the future, by suppose it's planned that in future the uh, man will go into the space and may go for to Mars and other places and maybe we'll colonize moon. In those uh, times, all these ex uh, experiences will be useful. The data which uh, uh, this uh, two astronauts have collected are quite useful. First of all, I'm very happy. I wish to congratulate everybody that all the four crew members have returned back. And from the, uh, you know, we could see from the photographs, they are all happy. They appear to be health, very healthy. And uh, the way in which, uh, you know, they were waving. The happiness was oozing out of them. Uh, they are happy to return back, but yes, they will miss the space. Thank you. Mr. Tanbir Ahmed from Digantra, sir. Good morning and thank you for speaking uh, to NewsX. Of 